The next icon which we can do is the Safari one. It looks complicated, but it's not. So paste our shape, move it next to the Safari icon. Zoom it a little to make sure that the background color is really white. It is, so we can move it over the icon. Maybe hide it for a while. Insert new shapes, new oval. Draw it with the shift key so we get a circle. Set the line to no line. And we want to have to this light blue to dark blue gradient. So change the fill to gradient fill. Set the first color to the light blue. And the second one to some darker blue, but quite saturated, just like this. Maybe the first one should be also more saturated one. So select a different color, maybe this one. Okay, this is better. And the second one should be darker. Okay, this is almost the same, so I think that this is fine. Move it to the right spot, hide it. And now you may think that making those tick marks is the hardest thing to do. But I will show you a little trick. If you insert new text box, you know, set the outline to no outline, fill to no fill, maybe jump to text box settings, set the margins to zero. Now if we insert new symbol, from the font CGI UI symbol. There are symbols for forming the tables. That is all those lines and uh, you know crust lines and so on. So if we insert this long line and this short line, we can select those two symbols and duplicate it several times. Now what we want to do is take those and form a circle out of it. That is, you know, follow the path. To make it, select Format, Word Art Styles, Transform and select this circle. You may want to, sh you may want to be sure, of course, that the size is a rectangle, so make it a rectangle if it's not already. And you can see it's almost fine. We just don't have enough tick marks, so we will jump right into it and paste it one more several times, just like this. I think that this looks fine. We just have to set the font color to white. We are ready to go. So the last thing which we want to add is this red and white pointer. So insert new shapes, new triangle. Set the outline color to no outline and fill to red. Copy paste it, rotate it with shift key by 180 degrees. Set the color to white, move it next to the first one. Select both, group it together so we can rotate it at the same time. And rotate it to the right position. Now show every object, select every object, group it together, rename it to Safari icon and move it to the first page.